Hey everyone, it's almost hunting season. Thanks for coming back and click on another Survive the Hunt video. We've already been active here in the 2021 season. We've been down in Florida shooting hogs. We've been down in Florida shooting gators. We actually had a hunt in Alaska chasing uh, goats and sheep and all kinds of crazy stuff. We've got out west Wyoming coming up. We've got Ohio whitetail. We've got Michigan whitetail. We've got Kentucky whitetail. We've got Pennsylvania whitetail. It's the best time of the year. We're almost ready to really, really, really hit the ground running here with bow season. And because bow season is just happening now, just firing up, we wanted to run through our bow setups and everything that the three of us are going to be using. I changed my system up a little bit this year but only minuscule justin got a whole new bow and jake shoots everything that everything under the sun so it's really important to show that anything can work as long as you make it work for you it's not about the brand it's not about the statistics it's not about the whatever uh specifications if it's legal it's ethical and you are deadly with it, we support you hunting with it. That being said, let's go ahead and hop into my bow. I am shooting a Matthews Triax, or Triax, Triax I guess is probably the right way to say it. This is their flagship bow from about three years ago I believe. And the main reason I don't have a brand new flagship bow, kind of like some of the other guys on the team, is I absolutely love this rig. I am so happy with it. I've had zero reason or need to upgrade. They just make such good stuff. I know when I buy a flagship bow that I'm probably gonna shoot it for a decade. And this, I was, this did not change my mind on that at all. So this is the Matthews uh, Triax, Triax. Um, I shoot it right at 60 pounds. I can pull way more than 60 pounds. I really like 60 pounds because it's easy. And if you watched the buck hunt uh, last year when I shot my buck, uh, I held back for 93 seconds on that buck. And at 60 pounds, it was real easy to do. I could come back and full draw and even collapse and keep it at full draw here to give my, my back and my shoulders a break. On it, I like to run the HHA Tetra site. This is the exact same site that I used in all the Journey to 300 videos. Um, the only difference being is on the hunting version, I don't have the um, magnifier lens in it. So it's just uh, it's lens free. Um, and then I run a front stabilizer. And of course, this is a very, very important part of Survive the Hunt's uh, arsenal uh, in loadout is I always have a Tacticam on my bow. I'm a huge proponent of Tacticam, not only from capturing footage to show you guys, but it really, really helps you review your shot location. And really, I honestly believe it's the number one tool that helps with game recovery, is being able to know exactly where you hit your deer or whatever else you're hunting. I do have the Engage Limb on here, the Engage Limb system. I don't hunt with this. Um, maybe turkey season in the blind, but for shooting in the backyard, uh, being on the range, it's it's nice to have. I do run new this year. This is the biggest change: is I have a back bar. This is something I learned shooting the target in the target archery space. Um, I've been pretty happy with it. It's kind of hodgepodge. It's made up of stabilizer stuff I had laying around, but it really has improved my shooting, and the scores prove it too. And then arrow-wise, I know everyone gets geeked out over arrows. I shoot a middle of the road type arrow setup in the Easton Carbon Aftermath and I always have a lighted knock. I bounce around different brands of lighted knocks but this one happens to be a nocturnal. I think this one's a Luminoc. They all seem to work pretty good for me. Uh, and then so these are 340 spine. Again uh, at my draw weight that works out perfect at the 60 but I shoot 125 grain broadhead that is the QAD Exodus, had great results with it all last year. Uh, and inside there, I also have a 75 grain um, insert, which gives me a total arrow weight of 525. And generally the speeds I'm looking at is about 265 feet per second. 265 feet per second out of a 60 pound bow, 
with a 525 grain arrow we're we're doing some damage and that's one thing I want to talk about everybody gets all geeked out about well how fast does it shoot how much does it weigh blah 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 this this that I'd just like to reiterate if it works for you it works for you can we be better can we tinker yes but the key is confidence if you have confidence in your setup you're going to be a more effective bow hunter.